See this picture. The son towers over his parents. And this isn't just a unique case, it's become a common trend in South Korea. On average, children that are four to six inches taller than their parents. This remarkable growth spurt happened in a very short period. And the most surprising reason behind this rapid growth is quite strange and controversial. That is South Korea's obsession with height. But how exactly does obsession lead to increased height? We'll get to that later. First, let's explore why being short in South Korea can be a negative experience and why Koreans are so fixated on height. In 2009, a female guest on a Korean talk show made a controversial statement. All men under 180 centimeters are losers. <laughs> Further emphasizing this point, a 2019 Ipsos survey revealed that 70% of South Korean women prefer men between 5 feet 10 inches and 6 feet 1 inch tall. Short stature carries a social stigma in Korean society, leading to an increased obsession with male height. This obsession has driven some Koreans to unnatural methods for height gain, including risky medications like artificial HEA, that is human growth hormone. Human growth hormone is the primary hormone responsible for height growth. Produced by the pituitary gland, it's converted into IGF-1 in the liver, stimulating cartilage formation in the ends of long bones. These cartilage cells, like building blocks, eventually calcify and become bone, increasing height naturally. Artificially created human growth hormone injections can accelerate height growth by two to three times during growth spurts. In developed countries like South Korea, this treatment is becoming normalized. Consequently, South Korean celebrities and K-pop artists appear significantly taller and more attractive than the average Korean. Between the ages of 9 and 16, many young people in South Korea inject artificial growth hormones to increase their height artificially. This data tells the story. The South Korean growth hormone market has doubled in just the past four years. Their consumption is three times higher than the U.S., a major cosmetics market with significant spending power. However, this therapy has a major limitation. It only benefits those who take it before their growth plates fuse. By 18 to 19 years old, a person's long bone growth plates fuse and become permanent bone, preventing further cartilage formation and limiting height gain through growth hormone treatment. Societal pressure has already made many Koreans desperate, leading them to adopt extreme methods to gain an extra two to four inches, one particularly brutal method, even illegal in some countries, is limb lengthening surgery. This surgery involves breaking leg bones, attaching them with rod, and gradually extending them for increased length. It's a very expensive and painful procedure with potentially life-threatening complications. The first stage involves an osteotomy on the shin bone. Essentially, a rod is inserted by breaking both bones. After 10 days, the second stage begins. Doctors or family members gradually twist and turn this rod for two months every day to adjust it so that the broken bones of the patient move away from each other, which will create a gap between the bones. Then, after two months, this rod is removed. And for here, the third and last stage begins, which is healing. Now, due to this cut, bone fracture occurs. And that is why the body stimulates the bone healing process in that place, which eventually generates new bone cells, due to which the height eventually increases. Surveys suggest that drugs and surgery are the two main reasons South Koreans have grown nearly six inches taller in the last century. And lastly, for those looking to increase height naturally, a proper diet with increased meat consumption can be beneficial. Numerous research papers support this. A 2016 World Book study by Joseph Kromiak of Mississippi State University investigated amino acids from protein. By increasing protein intake in various groups, a study found elevated levels of three key amino acids, arginine, lysine, and ornithine. According to many studies, these amino acids can stimulate growth hormone secretion, highlighting the crucial role of protein in height development. In short, diet plays a major role in height, especially during growth stages. So, if you're young and growing, focus on a healthy diet. That's all from my side, guys. If you learned something valuable, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button.